Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, in this video, I, I want to show you the basics of the 6.03 and then move on to, to all the different modes and how to navigate basically the Verita script. Uh, if you want to see how the uh, anti-recoil works and how, how you want to set it up, then you can go ahead and visit uh, this video over here. And then uh, if you want to see how you can download the scripts, uh, you, can, you can look at this video. And then if you want to see how to configure uh, the scripts into the same, then you can look at this video. Okay, with that, now we're going we're gonna to see a quick tour of the uh, version 6.03 of the Verita script. All right. All right. Right now, I just loaded the scripts into the kernel sand, so I haven't, I haven't played with it uh, on this particular video. So I'm going to show you what is the first thing you need to do in order to get it working. So just press this blue button and then activate uh, whatever the first script is that you loaded. In my case, this is the attackers. You can see Ash, and if you scroll, then you can see all the different different operators and if you press the shift key I mean the, the trigger and then move right and left you can see that it's actually moving you uh, by uh, by seasons so for example wh what does that do so let's suppose you're on ash but you you remember that you want to actually move to an operator that is, is farther up on the list so you press the trigger button and then just move to that particular season for example here if I let it go then you will see that the the first uh, operator on that season was lion so you don't have to be scrolling all the way one by one until you reach uh, the operator you you uh, need uh, of course you're gonna need to know more or less where your operator is on the list of releases but if you've been using Rainbow Six, most likely you already know. For example, uh, I know the uh, the the uh, original operators. You know, uh, I know there are ten original operators for attackers. So I know after the the last one, you're gonna see Buck, which is the first operator for Black Eyes. So Black Eyes, you can see if I let it go, then I land on Buck. Then I go, I go to Bevel Shell. If I let it go, then I, I, I see Jaco, and so on and so forth. So you pretty much understand how that works. So you f just by pressing the trigger and then navigating, you will be able to move through seasons. And you can also go backwards. So you can go uh, forwards and you can go backwards. So if you want to, for example, go to the previous or, or the newest uh, season, you can just scroll to the back. <laughs> right and then you will see Flores so if you were to do the trigger and then back you will see the Crimson Hates which is the new uh, season coming up uh, I already have Fl uh, Flores configured uh, I haven't tested of course because it's not released yet and there is no test servers on on PC I mean on, on console only on PC alright so once you 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 had chosen your operator then you just you just select it you just press a or x and then your operators is selected once it's selected then you you can start playing as it is but uh, if you want to switch to secondary all you need to do is just press y or or triangle and then it will it will activate the secondary gun and the profile attached to that secondary gun so, for example, I don't have rapid fire for all the MMRs. For example, our RC4 gun does not have rapid fire because it doesn't need it. The rate of fire is pretty good, so you don't really need rapid fire for that. But if you were to switch to the handgun, then rapid fire will be on by default. So that's how we activate it. But then, if you go back to Ash, uh, primary assault rifle, and, and you realize uh, you don't like that one for some <laughs> for some strange reason. You don't like that one, you, and you rather choose the the other option you have for that particular operator. So then you go into 
the menu by pressing again uh, trigger and then view or uh, share and it's going to bring uh, a series of, menu of menus L let me just show you what they are so configure GAN what is this do so this will allow you to select the default GAN for primary and the default GAN for secondary okay the anti-recoil here you will you will adjust the anti-recoil settings for the currently selected gun uh, so reset in case you messed up <laughs> and you want to go back to the the defaults uh, already saved on the script uh, then you just reset that particular operator and then reset all your operators back to to defaults and then uh, I have some requests about some of the vibrations were kind of annoying so here you can just uh, go into this menu and then uh, disable vibrations and then uh, you can see a, a new menu called uh, values um, here you can you can configure several things as far as the how many bullets uh, per second will be uh, using rapid fire uh, you know how fast how fast the the crouch span will work and things like that all right so let's go to uh, configure again so on this menu when you go go in uh, you will see uh, these little errors kind of giving you an idea what is going on so you if you press down then you will change to secondary and then you press that again down again uh, then it will show you primary and then you see the left and right so you you were to navigate left and right you will see all the available guns for your primary gun so if you don't like the r4c then you can choose the, the G36 and then uh, you just select that one and that will be your default gun for primary so every time you go into ash from this point on then you will have that gun has your primary right uh, so okay so it, it, let's go in again and then you can do the same thing for secondary uh, let me put the RC4 that's the one I prefer so you go to secondary then it will show you a list of the available guns for this your secondary and then here you can just choose your default right so once you can make your your decision then you're you're done you had your gun and, and whatever settings you have configured for that particular gun then will be active all right so let's see the other menu so the anti-recoil for this guy uh, on version 6.03 I'm actually using the progressive anti-recoil. What does that mean? Well, it, 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 that means that it, it gives you a little more control than the polar. And this is based on, on uh, uh, like six different values instead of two. Polar only uses two, uh, progressive uses six. So it, usuals, it, it uses the vertical star and then vertical N and then the duration for that a particular loop between the star and n and then it uses the horizontal star horizontal n and then the duration for that horizontal loop so that's that's how you uh, you see this uh, this adjustment for the anti recoil uh, settings here but uh, if you want to see more details uh, I have another video you can you can check out and understand how to configure that but I just want to show you the, the different menus on this particular video all right so if I go back and then let's look at this and the next uh, well these guys had nothing to do you just press it and basically it just resets it so there's not much to it same thing with the reset all you just press and then it will result reset all your uh, all your different all your operators for attacker all right so let's see if I were to go to vibration same thing just press it and then from this point on your vibrations can be turned on and off and that means all your vibrations so you won't get any any feedback on the controller uh, if you set up the vibrations off so at this point uh, it's hard for you guys to notice but uh, it, it won't longer vibrate when I change operators right so if I go to values here all right uh, 
All right. So, but this is not working here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna need to do the values thing uh, in a different, different, different video. All right. All right. Let me go. Mm, okay. Okay, so now, it, now the, if you guys want to switch to, for example, to defenders, now you have gone through your three rounds, and now it's time to switch to defenders. Uh, then what you need to do is just to press uh, trigger and then, sorry, trigger and then uh, options or 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 menu. And then we, you will see the scrolling text again on the top. If you press a B or a circle, then it will give you the option to select what type of operator you want. In my case, I want to switch to defenders, right? So I select defenders and then press the A or the X. And the very first time you confi you, you're configuring your screen, uh, your script, sorry, you will see this menu. And it's basically asking you where do you put the other scripts. So if you start with the attackers, when you switch to defenders, it's going to ask you, you know, what slot do you put it on? In my case, I put it in the slot number two, and then just select that slot number and then press A or X, and then you you'll be fine, right? So if I were to go back to attackers. Uh, also, the very first time is going to ask me, you know, where do you put the attacker? So in the, in my case, I put on the slope number one. So then I select it, and from this point on, those settings are safe. So there is no there is no need to enter that information anymore. The, uh, the 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 script already knows where they are. So if I were back to the defenders, that's it. Go straight to it. If I go back to attackers, then it's straight to it. All right. Thank you.